And as we hopefully move closer to the end of the pandemic, it's time to start a reassessment. One thing you may realize is you're tired. <laughs> I'm laughing because I realized this this morning. Now, stress <laughs> takes a toll on your sleep and in honor of National Sleep Awareness Week, 13 Action News anchor Trisha Keen spoke with a local expert about getting a good night's rest. I would doze off during the day. You know, at, at, at work. John Quarter suffers from sleep apnea and says the stress of the pandemic makes for a one to exhaustion punch. It can play havoc with your sleep pattern. To provide John with the quality sleep he needs, doctors prescribed a CPAP machine. When I go to bed, I can sleep almost right away and then get up when it's time to get up. So I feel rested. Plenty of people in the valley will tell you just the opposite. Complaints of insomnia or sleep disturbances or not enough sleep has been something that's gotten worse over the course of the pandemic. Dr. Tara Rachaconda with the Sleep Center of Nevada says a good night's rest is essential for our mental and physical health. While sleeping, the body grows muscle, repairs tissue, and helps us restore and rejuvenate. But more and more people are visiting the sleep center with clear signs of sleep deprivation. Definitely excessive daytime sleepiness, falling asleep at work, falling asleep while driving, your memory, you can have memory impairment um, with uh, chronic sleep loss over time. Studies suggest poor sleep may also contribute to heart disease, diabetes, and Alzheimer's. When we're tired, we're more likely to overreact and more susceptible to getting sick. Dr. Rancha Conda says a major culprit for recent sleep loss is a lack of daily structure. One of the big things that has happened during the pandemic is people have lost their sense of routine. She says people also have some very bad habits. Electronics have kind of invaded our lives. Shutting down the phone about 30 to 60 minutes before wanting to go to sleep is a good idea. Maybe cutting down on alcohol, nicotine, um, that's really important. Reducing your caffeine intake, trying to make some lifestyle changes. She says it's also a good idea to socialize with others even if it's only virtually. Social isolation it can be very devastating. It can make us depressed, and we know there's sort of a um, reciprocal relationship between mood and sleep, and so definitely one affects the other. John agrees and says people need to work on getting proper sleep. If anybody feels like they need to take a drink or some kind of medication to help them sleep, they need to get help because you're only manipulating your rest. John's message is pretty clear. Take your sleep seriously. For 13 Action News, I'm Trisha Keen.